Dusty. A lot of fun. But let's see who has the last lap on Smashville. Actually striking off the stadium for the first time, I think, in this block. I think so, yeah. And, um, for a very small stage, too, I feel like, I mean, this is not bad, but I want to say it's a slight paper for Nyatana here, perhaps? Because anything he can do to kind of get the kill earlier than otherwise, it's just like, it's got to be good for Pichu in this instance. It's before Pichu itself is killed. Both these characters have very explosive kill power, and this so the, the closer blast zones on the sides and on the top of the stage can absolutely be a factor for both of them deciding stocks. Yep. But that means both of them are so confident in their kill confirms that they, they say, I, I want to take that advantage for myself. I'm not necessarily worried about the advantage he gives to my opponent. Definitely, but uh, just barely missed the us smash uh, linking out of the roller there, but uh, Pichu is definitely a kill percent if uh, he falls to another roller. Yeah, it looks like that Booyah combo already out of the range, only at 90% when that grab connected. So yep. as you mentioned, the uh, the confirm may be off the table right now for Cosmos. Mm -hmm. And since he's not picking up those kills, now he has, he has a chance to kind of pick up some uh, some extra pretend. And now that Cosmos needs to kind of refill his ink shortly, just like he was trying to do there, it's an opportunity to potentially get some uh, more percent onto Cosmos. Okay, breaking through with that down air. Very strong move. Like you said, adding a ton of percent. And Cosmos, or Neotona, I'm sorry, is able to reset the whole situation. Trying to get one of those fading back airs, which yeah. that actually can be super violent even from center stage. But ooh, the grab, back throw, as oh quick as possible, but not enough to KO. That'll do it, though. Yeah, yeah Pichu is uh, as strong as uh, Pichu is. You don't want to be treating too many hits like that because usually with that kind of light weight is where it's not going to work out in your favor. Ooh, and that cancels into the grab. What a very slick ledge get up here from Cosmos. He uses the gun to full advantage now. Uh, so, Neotono's got a lot of pink on his face. Yeah, shiny Pichu's a rare Pokemon, but not one that takes extra knockback. And you're slower now, too. That's <laughs> true. Okay, the back air, almost enough to KO. Good DI, I think, on the part of Cosmos to stay alive from that move. That move hits like a truck, but it was nerfed a little bit. But at this point, with 151%, looking for a potential follow-up there, but a lot of uh, kill confirms are not going to be on deck, but Nair won't quite do it, but it's a great get off me tool otherwise, but that will seal the stock. We're at two stocks apiece. Such a great way to catch a high ledge trap situation, right? Like if you think you can jump out of the ledge, Pichu has like nine different ways to kill you. Back air one being one of the strongest. But at least now that was a good way to catch Cosmos. But now Cosmos needs to find a way to catch this Pichu as uh, he's got him Ooh. up to 84%, which just, uh, if he can get out of this combo as soon as possible, he needs to find a way to kill immediately oh! before Nietzsche scores this kill with no problem at all. My gosh. What an explosive comeback from Neotono as he just lays into Cosmos on that second stock. He touched the ground one time, got carried 0 to 60. My gosh. Then <laughs> killed him. That's the explosiveness that Pichu yep. brings to the table, ladies and gentlemen. Lightweight character, who cares when you have that kind of power? <laughs> Absolutely. And again, not afraid to go to Smashville with this no. lightweight character because that's to your advantage. Yep. I wonder if that was like on purpose, like bouncing off the ledge there and not going on stage, because I feel like if the roller did hit on stage, Nietzsche would have been able to punish that because he was ready with the shield in place, where, uh, I don't know, at least Cosmos is able to stay safe in that interaction. He did end up taking a, a little bit of bruising regardless out of the ledge trap situation, yeah. but like you said, it, it reset in a nice way for yeah. him. Better than it could have been. <laughs> Maybe one of those happy little accidents where you're like, oh, I, I bounced, but I'm good and actually helped me out a bunch. And okay, the back air snipe for Cosmos gets him on the board. Even stocks on the last stock of this game one. Now, after seeing a kill like that on the second stock with Nietzsche, like, absolutely doing everything he could. I want to see Cosmos play safer, but that's also going to be where kind of Smashville is going to be like a double-edged sword. It's going to be hard to mm -hmm. kind of get away from Pichu and the speed. But he gets a jab for his troubles here, and that's going to be the start of this comeback for Cosmos. And he ha he, has, he just has a great combo game. He, like, Cosmos can be just as explosive. He just has to find the right setup yeah. and take his sweet time in doing so. He's having trouble finding it, though. I'm worried. Box out with the forward air, and then try to get that center stage back slowly but surely. But Neotono is being pretty confident with his dashbacks and shields mm -hmm. under that platform. And it makes it really hard for Cosmos to find an angle of approach. Now, I do like that how with Smashville, though, this middle platform is making it a little bit harder to find those up to the Thunder kill confirms because we've already had two up throws, both missing Thunders, but that back air is going to seal it out for game one going to Nietzsche. Cleaned up that air dodge, easy peasy. Uh, Cosmos was respecting the Thunder follow up, yes. I do believe, up high. And instead, we saw the patience from Nietzsche absolutely pay off and get him a game victory here against Cosmos, one of the best players in the world. You can only watch out for so many different follow-up options, and Pichu is able to cover so many of them at once. It's just like, if you try to uh, 
dodge one thing, you're gonna fall victim to another one. The Pe Pichu absolutely has a giant bag of tricks like that, where it's like, okay, if, if I don't die to the thunder, I gotta avoid the, the jab block forward smash, or the back air. The back air was obviously the, the pivotal move that got Neotona so, like, I think it took two stocks of back air and one yes. stock with that crazy spike. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and <laughs> hey. also forward tilt is something that it is, I mean, it's a shadow of its former self. It yeah. was nerfed a while back. Still good though. Still very strong move. Yep. And can kill out the edge like like a lot of the other great forward tilts in this game. Cosmos is going to stick with the Inkling for those hoping to see a corn, but um, that was never going to happen versus a rat. Never, ever, 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 ever. I, I don't <laughs> think so, but I could see some really rare situations where it could work. But uh, I do like Battlefield. I think this is going to keep Cosmos a lot safer in terms of trying to like. Um, Look for those like different up airs because if the up air does miss out of like an up throw, which it will on Pichu, you're gonna land a little bit sooner onto a platform and be able to just keep pushing on pressure even more. Yes, it's gonna allow Cosmos to continue that vertical pressure. As you mentioned, uh, the further away blast zones could prove to be again, like may maybe that advantage did tilt a little bit too much in Pichu's game game plan in game one. So yeah. now Cosmos is gonna have a little bit of more time to stay alive here. Yeah. It could also be more time to find a downer spike, which doesn't really care about these wider blast zones. That so, is very true. But those two back airs won't kill quite as early. Oh, that grabs mixing by pixels. Yep. But and you're gonna pay a really big price for that. That was like 35-40% off that just that one confirm. And oh look at Neotona go. Getting a thunder jolt into strong hit of the neutral air. Oh, but a strong hit right back. Got into the ledge, but a back air will not quite pick it up yet, but Stair, I just want to point out real quick, I just noticed in that corner, this is the best out of three still. So we do have confirmation on that despite this round. But Neanderthal then is looking pretty uh, pretty good to start to clean this up because if he finishes out this game and takes these two more stops, he's going to be moving on to winner's top 90 cents. Yeah, quick 2-0 and a handshake is possible here for Neotono, but Cosmos is going to have to say Ooh. something about that as he goes deep for the back air. Oh my god, I love it. Got to edge guard with the edge, the best, right? Yep. Pichu's an edge guarder, Inkling can do the same. Anything you can do, right? Both these back hairs are phenomenal, I'll tell you that. Okay, looking to get a quick little corner combo for Cosmos, and that's going to even this up uh, only in, like 0.9% in between these two characters. Yeah, but when you're like that close in percent, you got to be thinking that's great for Cosmos. He wants the trades, he wants the even percent, because when it's even percent, it's going to be going first stock over to uh, Inkling's favor there, I feel like. Yes, because he'll live longer and longer. Now he even has a lead for his troubles off of a quick little confirm using that platform, as you mentioned, on Battlefield, yep. to his advantage. And oh, really close to a tech chase forward smash, yep. which would have blown up Pikachu off the left side. And I love that idea because Nietzsche was forced into like that near the ledge issue. So it's like you're covering with that forward smash if you space it correctly, three out of four different options. And now putting a little bit of paint on the ground to slow down that Pikachu just slightly. And of course, maybe even get a kill confirm off of it. It helps. Because I guess Roller does that too. And that F smash is threatening on the ledge. What else is threatening is right now Cosmos trying to recover and get around yet to know a narrow. Not going to do too much, but it's going to be enough to just, you know, keep Cosmos having to recover and playing Yetano's game rather than Cosmos' game. Luckily, you have so many extra recovery options as Inkling, like able yep. to use that roller to just help out and just take your time to get up onto the stage. Sets up the turnaround roller, and that's one of the classic Inkling kill confirms. Taking a good advantage here, but there is there it is. Yep. Nerf or not, it's, it's still coming there. for you. We're super close here with one stock each. Nietzsche looking for a way to close this out. I like how he took the first stock, but then Cosmos answered back. Super strong, taking the second stock first. I love seeing that back and forth action. Neotono could have turned, like he could have done that combo into the stage to get yes. even extra damage. He specifically turned it in the, to the right with a back here yeah. to continue this ledge trap as much as possible. Oh, oh he oh! missed the stage! And that F smash actually almost caught the jump recovery as well. I love that forward smash opportunity there because I feel like most players would have went right there. That's what looked so safe. But Cosmos is such a good player that knew that was coming out. He just needs one more thing here. Like, for instance, a roller berry would probably kill Pichu right now. He's at, he needs to look for it as soon as possible. Uh, at 90, he's definitely oh, dead now, off the roller yeah. berry. <laughs> up, up smash would kill even on Battlefield. Yes. So. This is now very much the last stock class hit between these two. Uh, Cosmos needs to win this to keep his winner's bracket life alive as he tries to cross up the shield of this little rat on the battlefield. What I'm worried about these dashing though is he's running up and shooting a lot too. So at this point, Nietzsche is going to be looking for a grab shortly, I'd, I'd assume, which he gets one. Let's see what he does to it. Up throw, no thunder, but he's keeping him in the air. Let's see if he can convert it into maybe a back air or something. Let's see it. 
Ooh, okay, that roll was scary, but everyone's living, and now Cosmos gets the stage for his troubles. This could be the turnaround he needs, but oh, turn it around again. Uh, outside Ooh. the combo, kill percent, but he needs to find a way to keep him in the air where he's in disadvantage, but the back air, not gonna pick it up just yet, but at 179, anything will else will take it. That was such an ambiguous back air, but nothing ambiguous about that F2. That's gonna catch you on the re-grab, and Neotono gets the first big upset of this block, yes. taking Cosmos out 2-0.